rise and shine, team. There's a crowd already waiting to see you. <sighs> Did somebody say crowd? Morning, Alex. Hey, Kate. I got something really special for the habitat. <gasps> what do you think it could be? Huh? Wow! It's a really big rock. I noticed some kiddos had trouble seeing Alex perform. Go, Alex! Mom, what's he doing? I thought this would make a great stage for his shows. Being center stage on a big stage sounds perfect for Alex. Now, let's check on Bill. He was cranky this morning. Wow. Do you see the size of this thing? I'll be on top of the world. You better get up there soon, my main mammal. It's showtime. Right. Here we go. <laughs> ah! <gasps> ah! <gasps> from down here, I'll just have to do it from up there. <laughs> That's the catitude we know and love. We'll warm up the crowd for you. <laughs> the lion's big leap is clear for takeoff. Alex, are you ready? Of course he's ready. Are you ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> I just need to get to the top of that stage. I can do this. One suggestion. Hold on tight, but not too tight. Just use your feet hands. But my feet are just feet feet. Well, let's just hope you land on it. Ah! I should have included this in my act years ago. Aha! Uh-oh. Someone help him! He's just a baby! What? No, I'm not. Ugh. Ugh. I'll get you, Alex. Ah! Whoa! Don't worry, buddy. I got you. I don't need saving. I have it all under control. I'm not tiny or adorable. I'm a disaster. That's not true. You're an entertaining disaster. I guess Alex is too little for the stage. Alex is just right the way he is. It's the stage that's too big. That was humiliating. You heard, Kate. There's nothing wrong with being an Alex-sized lion. <sighs> How will I ever be a big star when I'm just so small? Oh, come on, Alex. There's got to be a way to bring back that smile of yours. How about a game of limbo? You always win. Because I'm the smallest. A ride around the merry-go-round? Last time we went, they thought I was a baby, and I had to sit on your lap. Oh, and it was so cuddly, like squeezing a little teddy bear. <sighs> <laughs> Not that small. <laughs> Hi, Anthony. <sighs> Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, little guy. Didn't see you there. Hi, Anthony. You're never gonna believe the news I have. Today is Super Mega Day at Coney Island. Ooh, I've never been to Coney Island. It's great. It's got rides, games, a beach, and today. Everything at Coney Island is super mega sized. I'm talking super mega games, super mega rides, super mega ah! prizes, and most of all, super mega snacks. Super mega sized, huh? That sounds awesome. Then it sounds perfect for me. I'm ready to be super mega sized. Is the coast clear? All clear. Ooh. 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 Come on. Ooh. Now, I first look at the float. Amazing! Ooh! Whoa! They're even better than I hoped! You know, I usually don't like for anyone to see the floats until they're perfect. <sighs> Which they are. Wanna get close? Yeah! Ah! Oh. Wow! I didn't know colors came in this many colors. Let's give them a test run. Here you find the float fit for a king. Who, me? Who shines like a star. Our star, Alex the Lion! Roar! Yeah! To 
no her is the lover. Woohoo! Give it up for Gloria! Seen here thriving in a water paradise. <gasps> now that's how you make a splash. <laughs> Who's next? <gasps> me, me! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Think giraffes can't groove? My pal Melman's here to prove <laughs> you wrong. Ta-da! Oh, uh -huh. And now, my personal favorite. Let's hear it for the parade plan extraordinaire. And her grand marshal, Grand Marty. Nice parade wave. Very regal. Who's this one for? According to our list, all the animal floats are accounted for. Maybe Kate and Carlos wanted a float of their own. Okay, just a few things left to check. Is the floor on the lion float sturdy? <laughs> check. Any leaks on the hippo float? Totally leafless. Check. All right, all right. Zebra on the chimp float? Wait, why is there a zebra on the chimp float? Don't you mean, why is there a giraffe on the chimp float? Oh my gosh, I didn't think anyone was up here. Then I look up and boom! What do I see? <gasps> Five friends. Huh? huh? Oh, uh, let me back up. Howdy. I'm Odie Elliot. But you can call me Odie. You see an Odie on the list? Uh -uh. Hi, Odie. I'm Melman. What kind of animal are you? A zebra? A gerebra? <laughs> I don't know what kind of animal I am. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. I'm a party animal! And it looks like I arrived just in time for the party. <clears throat> yeah. Oh! Oops. Sorry. Cool. Spin. But what are you? What do you call other animals like you? I'm the only me I know. One minute I was being rescued in a rainforest, and the next, bam, I was right here. Well, right there, here. The guest habitat. That means you're part of a little wild. Whatever you are, you're one of us now. A new animal? The day before the parade? Nobody told me. Don't mean to be a party crasher. Hope it's not a problem. Problem for seasoned parade planner? <laughs> if anyone can figure out what you are and where you belong, it's me. Mission Find Where Odie Belongs begins now. Right after I fix that. Okay, Odie, nothing says zebra like black and white stripes. So I'm betting you belong on my float. Your float? Whoa, I'm so honored. But I don't know anything about zebraing. You are in luck, my friend. I happen to be an expert on the topic. The first step in advanced zebraing is learning to trot with posture and style. Now you try. <laughs> what do you think? Naturalness takes practice. Melman? There! In the basket. Next to the number 12 truck. <laughs> Melman, you good, buddy? Come on up, Melman. It's a little high at the top, but I know you'll land on your hoofs. No, I'm good. I'll just be here till you're done, where it's nice and cozy and close to the ground. We've got a Class K fire alarm down on 4th and Daisy. Copy that. This is Captain the Happy. Fire truck 12 is en route. Ready? Yep. Let's go. I can even hear the siren from here. That's because they're coming from that truck. Melman, Melman, get down. Quick, Melman, get out of there. I'm good. I'm perfectly safe and happy right where I am. <gasps> ah! Get me out of that truck. Come on, Alex. Good. <laughs> 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 Truck, are you? It's like dancing. All you need is coordination, timing, and a delicate touch. Ah! Get me off this truck! What are you talking about? This is way better than Junior Marshalls. We're gonna get to experience the real thing, up close and personal. This is too up close. Too personal! Open your eyes, buddy. You're missing the view. Don't be afraid. Remember, be cool like a cat. <gasps> be cool like a cat. Be cool like a cat. Be cool like a cat. <gasps> Alex, we're in a real fire truck! That's what I'm talking about. With real heroes! Yeah, we are. On the way to <gasps> a real fire! <laughs> I want to go 
go home. Let's just wait for the firefighters to put out that fire. Then we'll catch a ride back to the station. <sighs> that sounds like a great idea. But I want to go home now! Okay, bud, we'll go home. Except I don't know which way home is. Careful, Alex. It looks like we're in Brooklyn. Or the Bronx. Or maybe Queens. But how are we going to get a travel tunnel if we don't know where we are? Sorry, birds. Birds, they're great with the directions. Excuse me, friends of Andy's, do you know where we are? I think I scared them off. Maybe we can ask that kitten up there on that billboard. A kitten on a billboard? Hello, fellow feline. Are you okay? Poor thing's too scared to talk. Get a firefighter. They're always rescuing kittens from trees. They must know how to get a kitten down from a billboard. They're a little distracted right now. Hmm, maybe the kitten will come down on its own? Cats are pretty stubborn. Trust me, I know cats. It could take all day for it to come down. I don't have all day! <laughs> I have until bath time. We gotta do something. We can't just leave them hanging. There's got to be a way we can save the kitten without doing anything too scary like climbing up high. 